money in the wa- bank, wank bank, bank, money in the bank, and uh, it was okay. Yeah, I mean, I, it was. Unlike Andy, I actually had some sort of expectations for this, I had and it was disappointing at the end. That's that's my overall review of it. I mean, I, I literally went into this with no expectations and no, like, I just I just didn't care. It's just like, I, I don't care about this card. I don't care about anything that's happening. The, the only, like, the, the things that saved the show were the two ladder matches, the Divas match, and Ziggler and Del Rio. That was it. Because the rest yeah. was just weird endings that pissed me off. Uh, LOL, Cena wins as usual. Um, well, like, uh, I completely expected Cena to win. Oh, yeah. But the way, the way he won was retarded. Yeah. You're meaning to tell me that the world's strongest man can't get Cena off of his back? And also... And tapped out? And, and, uh, really? Also, the, 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 the thing is, I swear, Mark Henry's been, like, attitude-adjusted... Seven million times. Yeah, why were they pushing that? I don't know. They're like, oh, he's too... Like, what? <laughs> no, it's been established. He's picked up the big show for fuck's sake. Nine hundred times. times. <laughs> That's so bad. I just Jesus. can't fucking deal with Cena anymore. I can't do it. I just can't yeah. do it. They had something with Mark Henry. They actually had something. And then it's uh, like, LOL, well, I've got to win. Like, no. As soon as I saw that that match wasn't the main event, I, it was clear that Cena was going to win no matter what. Because my original theory was that Mark Henry could possibly win and then Mr. Money in the Bank would cash in on him. But seeing that that wasn't the main event, that wasn't going to happen. Well, I, I think uh, I was watching an incredibly different event because I actually enjoyed last night, to be to be fair, guys. What? Well, yeah, I, I enjoyed the matches, but almost all of the endings to the matches were retardedly stupid. It was nice seeing Rob Van Dam and. Okay, uh, right, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll speak. I agree with the Mark Henry John Cena match. In all honesty, I didn't watch. I didn't watch it live. I was watching it in ways that I will not describe on the internet because the NRA or whatever it is. No, that's the gun guys, isn't it? The whatever, whoever, <sighs> the American government will be spying on me and going, "Ah, oh, he's watching wrestling illegally. Let's throw him in jail," you know, with Snowden and all that. So I'm not going to say what I've been doing it. Uh, NSA, thank you, Brooks and uh, Veyron. The NSA, the NSA. Um, could have said NASA. No. <clears throat> well, that was a. F- anyway, um, so I just sort of skipped over the match because uh, I knew I knew that Cena was going to win, and I can tell you why. Because there's been rumblings backstage that going into SummerSlam, the main event is going to be John Cena versus Daniel Bryan, because uh, of. Total Divas. Now, that sounds weird, and I'll explain why these two guys are getting the main event because of Total Divas. you got to remember, Daniel Bryan and John Cena are banging the Bella Twins. Right? The Bella Twins... I didn't know Cena was, but okay. Yeah, John Cena's banging Nikki, I believe. Is that the one with the fake tits? Yes. I think. Okay. Yeah. That's the only way you can distinguish which one is which. Don't blame me. One of them now has huge cans. <laughs> The other one doesn't. Leave me alone, okay? So, they're basically, in a weird way, they're, they're technically shagging the same girl. It's weird. Twins are strange. Um, so, they're, they're the boyfriends of the Bella Twins, and the Bella Twins are two of the main characters on Total Divas, and they're expecting Total Divas to be a big thing. So, that's why they're getting the main, uh, not main at event. All. No. That's why they're getting the main event at SummerSlam. So I was fully aware that John Cena was going to win this. The other problem I had was, of course, uh, Robot Orton winning the Money in the Bank. The... Oh my god! Uh, I, you know when he pulled that thing down, like all the energy and the electricity yeah. of the crowd died. It was just dead. Yeah, they're just like no. <laughs> I, I was I was so it's, expecting. It's like... I was so expecting like Brian to win, to be saying honest. saying in the chat, 
there's just no reason for Orton to have it. None no at all. It's meant to exist. No. It's, it, it's, it reminded me of what happened last year when John Cena won it. These guys, they don't need it. Somebody like Daniel Bryan, to me, kind of needed it. I mean, he is an established star, but it would have made sense because of the role he's been on and that he's not the weak link. So, look, he won the money in the bank. He can't be the weak link. He won the money in the bank match. Again, for a second time. Orton and has it been an jobbing. all-star match, as... the fuck that means. What? And it was an all-star match, whatever that means. Yeah. And the thing is, is that Orton, as far as I'm aware, has pretty much been jobbing for the past couple of weeks. And LOL, he wins yeah. money in the bank. How, how, that doesn't make sense to me. Uh, I liked the events leading up to it. So, like, when, when Paul Heyman was like, fuck you, punk, die. And that like, was really cool. I'm not going to lie. Like, oh, really my cool. God, the blood coming out of his head. Oh, fuck, Jesus Christ, yeah, fucking hell. And then, like, stitches. but then, and then, uh, Orton climbs the ladder and just like, no, no. No! And just climbs a ladder and takes the briefcase. No, he can't do that. He sucks. But besides, yeah. besides Mark Henry and John Cena match, and the ending of the All Star Money in the Bank, I actually enjoyed the pay per view. I don't, I don't see why you guys are giving it such a hard time. Personally, in fact, well, in all honesty, I thought the Divas match was not as good as it was at Payback. I thought their one at Payback what? was better. Well, I didn't see Payback, so I have nothing to refer to, but I really enjoyed the Money in the Bank Divas match. I, I liked it, and there was nothing dumb about it. For what it was, it was more or less perfect. I have no complaints. Is it weird I want to see Big E fall in love with Caitlyn? <laughs> you can just tell. It's just like, just kiss her already, for God's sake. Just propose to her already. God! People it, wonder right. why wrestling's referred to as a soap opera. Yeah, uh, pretty much. But uh, uh, but the, no, it, the, I I agree. The, though, the, I I agree with the divas we, thing though because I think after since two thousand and six the, the 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 divas division was just stale. There was nothing really interesting about it. You could <laughs> you could say that Lay Cool was slightly interesting, but I think. <laughs> It, there's nothing really that's been that stood out to me. Finally, even though they've got that awful looking belt, that terrible looking belt, that belt that is a disgrace. It, it shouldn't be called a belt. It should be called shite. That's what it should be called. The WWE <laughs> Shite Championship. But it actually feels like there's importance to it now, even if it is shit. Yeah, I actually cared going into Money in the Bank of what was going to happen in that match. I actually wanted to see it and kind of cared. Yeah, it wasn't. I'm not gonna lie, though. Like every time AJ took a bump, who has, has Dolph Ziggler been teaching her how to bump? Jesus, yeah. she bumps she amazingly. Like, ah, 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 she sells like crazy. Crazy bitch. She like flips <laughs> backwards and everything. Did you see her sell that spear? Did you see her sell that spear on SmackDown? At I the know. Contract signing. Jesus, that was amazing. That was crazy. This is why I think. Together. A friend of mine says that they, they don't like it when I compare wrestlers to previous wrestlers, but... And I can see where they're coming from, because they should be their own person, but at the end of the day, you're going to make yeah. comparisons, because it's the only way you can really sort of, you know, tear Get people up if you like them or not. I think, really, AJ and Caitlin is this generation's Trish and Lita. Or at least, they yeah, have the potential to be. Yeah, I... I, I'm hoping that they, they become that because, I don't know, it, it, it's like, I'm actually more invested in this story than anything else on this card. Yeah, well, so, there's one thing, and right. the, the chat reminded me of it, there's one thing else that I care about. The Wyatt family, that was probably the coolest debut I've ever seen. Well, at least it's up there. I hate I hated the crowd when they're like Husky Harris. I'm like shut up. I that yes that annoyed me. But the rest of the debut was cool as hell. I well, I it, I don't get it. I don't get why everyone's been going nuts for the Wyatt family. I don't get it. I just I don't know. Something about him is entertaining to me. I just I I don't get it. I don't get why everyone's going nuts for the Wyatt family. It's 
it's a creepy montage of Husky Harris. That's all it is. And why is someone wearing a goat face? That should be Daniel Bryan. Because it's like, it's... no, they're symbolizing, like, the sheep. Like, I think his thing is, like, people are sheep and he needs to lead them. And so, like, his his bro there is, like, symbolizing the sheep or some shit. I don't know. So it's kind, it's kind of like the straight edge society. Just not A little so bit. straight edge. Yeah, it's just creepy cult thing. Creepy rednecks with big, big beards. Yeah. Well, Giant at least it's beards. better than biscuits and gravy! <laughs> oh, don't remind me. <laughs> Fuck, don't fucking ever say those fucking words again. <laughs> biscuits and gravy! Oh. Make yeah. me a man! How? How? I don't... It doesn't make sense. Why was... would you have, like, Can a just... ball bomb biscuit and stick fucking gravy on it? That would taste horrible. I, this is the thing, right? The guy who wrote, uh, who the guy who wrote the music for Stone Cold Steve Austin, arguably the best theme entrance in the world, made that. Okay. What was going through his head when he thought, right, we've got a retard and someone who's obviously. Well, from... To be fair, what else are you going to write for that? Something that isn't biscuits and gravy make me a man. The switches, <laughs> Wendex. We love the country. We love the south. Oh yeah, <laughs> the nice. No, I Nothing's... think one of the lyrics to that song is "I ain't no ham and egger." <laughs> like, what? It's just such a dumb song. Why? <laughs> what the hell does that mean? <laughs> Why? <laughs> what does that mean? Oh my god! I I, I just. This is the thing, like, he wrote Stone Cold Steve Austin's theme, and then he comes out with that. Can you imagine it if it's just like, smash! Let's get some good <laughs> And that's the thing, both characters were supposed to be from, like, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> so Stone Cold gets, da 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 and then they get, let's get some gravy! Make me a man! It's like, just, there's a lot of diversity. There's a lot, lot of diversity in Texas. Is there really? I don't <laughs> there's know. a lot of diversity oh, in know. Jim Johnson's fucking head. Uh, everyone has an off day, Liam. <laughs> off day? Jesus, he's had an off decade. Oh! Well, actually, I'd like to argue that theme songs lately have been getting better. Yeah, because he's... Well, yeah, but I think Biscuits and Gravy was possibly the lowest point he's had. <laughs> Well, yes, but that's not, I mean, that's not to say, like, he's shit now. What the fuck's wrong with him? Oh, like, I like Curtis Axel's theme. Wade Barrett's new theme song's pretty good. I don't like Barrett's uh, new theme. Uh, I don't like it. It, it, I just don't like it. Alright, I'll just, I'll just, alright, like, I'll just bury my head in the sand. Never mind. Good, Seriously, you do that. Wade, this is the problem, right? This is the problem I've discovered with WWE. And, like, yeah. for some reason, it's not every person that's not from america it just seems to be british people right they've got to have a reference to either classical music or england in some way it's got to be the english national anthem or rule britannia or it's got to be william Regal coming out to classical music or wade barrett going oh, like can't we just have a guy who just so happens to be british but that's not what defines him. I, I that's just, what annoys I, me. It's like, it's kind of like Antonio Cesaro. Okay, his theme song was nothing to do with uh, Switzerland, I think. Like, had nothing to yeah. do with it. But his Titan, bloody hell, the the cross was everywhere. Like, yeah, it's just basically the Swiss flag. Yeah, yeah I'm from Switzerland. That's my gimmick. Do you get it now? Do you get it now? Do you I'm get not it? from <laughs> around these parts. Do you understand this? Just, just so you know. And then they give him a yodeling gimmick. Uh, I don't just want to in case you didn't know he wasn't from America. We. I don't want to mention people. yodeling. We the people is not a fucking sentence. We the people. God damn, it doesn't make sense. Fucking dumb. Watty gimmick. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. That's not a complete phrase. <laughs> That's the start of your constitution. It doesn't mean anything on its own. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> I just want, I just want. Fucking with his dumb mustache. I want a character who's from Britain, but that doesn't. That's not what defines him. Okay, so he's well, from Manchester. Good for him. 